13,000 bodies, 13,000 minds, one magnificent statement that we exist and we are proud. Wouldn't it be great if the city of San Francisco had a gay Olympics and invited the rest of the world? Welcome to the Gay Games. I'm from New York. New Zealand. Going for a world record. The best time I've swam in 10 years. They have to stand for the word of God. We won't have generations. Not with male and male and female with female. I was thrilled when I heard that Tom wanted a child. A child with a woman, no less. There's a lot of jealousy that went on. They thought we were the all-American family. They named these games for what they have been for us this week. The Gay Olympic Games. Amen. I love it. I've never felt so at home in a long time. Because it was so late in the game when we got sued, Olympic was just marked over. They just didn't want the idea of sissies being associated with the Olympic Games. Today, for this week, we see ourselves as we really are. Active, productive, creative, and healthy. Let the games begin. I mean, we don't have a celebration of drunkenness day or wife beating week. We don't celebrate sin and homosexuality is called sin in the scripture. The gay games offer a deeper understanding of America where tolerance and skill transcend stereotypes and prejudice. It was a safe place. I was surrounded by other gay athletes and had tremendous support. You know, that was very empowering. We are your children. We are your neighbors. We are your brothers and your sisters, fathers and your mothers, teachers and citizens. And yes, indeed, we are your athletes and your artists. Hey,